Good morning, longboarding mom. I'm at Safeway. I woke up extremely early this morning because I couldn't sleep. Um, so I got dressed for work and I decided to come to Safeway so I wouldn't wake up my family and do this video. Um, I'm doing this video because I've been feeling extremely exhausted. Um, not because of the holiday season and stuff. It's, um, it's been this last year, <laughs> I want to say, um, just mentally, physically, everything. And, you know, I, I was on lockdown, so I had a break from work and stuff. Um, I think the physically, the fatigue and stuff, it's, it's just, um, wondering when this is going to end everything. You know, I, I mean, I mean, I know it's not going to end because there's new variants coming out every other day. So, um, <laughs> what are we going to do? You know, um, there's I, a few articles I read. One of them is Dr. Francis Collins on pandemic fatigue. Uh, the virus is not tired of us. And the other article um, was uh, the teachers leaving the profession because they're just exhausted. The article says, teacher leaving the profession says no job is worth this. And she was um, a, a Portland teacher. Uh, she said that, you know, the class sizes before the pandemic were huge and gigantic and overwhelming but now it's worse with um the stress of the kid what the kids are going through uh, um our middle school here just had a bomb threat um they found the person it wasn't against like um any one person uh so i, I don't know what's going to happen um there's an i just read the article the it happened on Tuesday before Thanksgiving, and so on Wednesday, um, the kids got to go to school, but they couldn't bring backpacks to school and stuff. And if you had a backpack, they wouldn't let you in. And then I heard that there was somebody that brought a gun to the school. Um, I don't know if that one is true, but the bomb threat one was legit, and there was an article about it, and the, the child has been suspended further investigation, maybe expulsion. Um, that wasn't the only thing that happened that day. There was kids fighting. There is so much going on right now. Our, our kids are so stressed out. There's just, I mean, everything. So what I have started doing is yoga. Um, stretching helps me I mean, I love running and stuff, and I'm going to try to start running again, um, but I haven't ran in a long time, so I'm starting slow. What's the slowest thing I can do? Stretching, yoga. Um, it's helped my mind. It's helped my body. I feel really good afterwards. Um, I thought it helped me sleep, but mm, that's not happening yet. But anyway... Um, we, as adults, need to think about our mental health, our physical health, and we need to start working out again. Um, when we were kids, we ran and played and had PE and, and recess and stuff, and so we did stay really busy. As adults, not so much. I mean, some of us. <laughs> I walk a lot at my job, so I thought that was enough, and hmm, it's not. So yes, my husband and I started yoga and I will share with you guys some of the moves that I do to help me and to help with this fatigue and anxiety and stress and depression, whatever you are going through right now. If you need help, please consult somebody because, um, you know, exercise and stuff isn't enough, but it does help and eating right. Yes, we need to eat right too. <laughs>